So yeah, there we go. And just to give you a quick reminder of the rest of the playroom, we have our sand toys there and our sand tray. And we have our creative area where we can do our imagine, imaginary play with our dollhouse hospital and a dollhouse and a real life size baby. Normally I would unpack the board games in a cupboard and only take out the specific game that I'm going to use for that day as we only use that and directive play therapy. So this is unpacked here for the sake of demonstration, but normally um, you would only take out the one specific game that you're going to use. So let's move a little bit closer um, here and we can look at specific games that we can use in the assessment phase of Gestalt play therapy. Um, so one of the uh, games that I really like is this um, uh, emotional or this question dices and that is available on amazon.com so what we will do is I will um, throw it and it will land on a specific question this one specifically asks share a memory of when you felt shy the child will then answer that and maybe the child will throw another one and it would say um, what kind of ice cream do you like? And you can play with the child. I would normally say to the child, like, I would like to get to know you better. And in order for us to get to know each other better, we're going to play this game with specific questions and see if we can answer that. So we make fun of that and we do it in a whole non threatening way. A second game that uh, can be used for that is called How Am I Feeling? Um, the box look like that and that is a whole stack of cards with different questions on for example when i get older i hope so it's almost like incomplete sentences that is in a in a form of a card it makes me feel silly when um it makes me feel safe when so you would not do all of this cards in one assessment session but you might be um Pick about 10 chords or so and answer that and also um, then get a better idea of the child's feelings. Another one that works very well is the I heard your feelings. So this is specific chords with projective um, images on it. Let me just put a few of them here then you can see. So there we have one, there is one, um, there is one. Um, here I'm sure you can see that what this one depict and then on the back side on the flip side of the card there is a specific sentences where the child can answer what they're about what they've seen still in the projective form so does cat's ice cream make pigs less happy does cat knows this pig what does pig feel about cat and do you ever feel bad um, you don't have something someone else has so then in the end it brings it back to the child so you can also see there's a whole stack of cards see and um, again you want to do all of them but it, uh, children normally feel much less threatened if you keep the assessment in the projective level and don't start off immediately asking about themselves then here i have a, a this is a south african game with um, different african animals that have different emotions and it's beautifully illustrated so um, there's the elephant and there's a scared zebra um yeah you can see we have the relaxed rhino and a worry cheetah and what we do with this court game is you can play and um, go fish or you can play a uh, snap and then each time when a specific feeling is uh, on top, the child can also tell you when they feel like that. All right, if we move on, we have, I have this one that works um, really very well for the younger children in multi-block. I'm going to open it up in just a moment. There you go. So in it, it's almost like kind of lego blocks and each one of them have three parts uh here you can see that um the child can build and then a specific phase again depict a specific feeling so 
there you go and um there's another one there's another one and here's another one so um i find the preschoolers also enjoy this a lot and um I'm reminded of one boy that um, quickly took the angry one, uh, this one, and uh, told me how grumpy his brother always is. So um, they will tell you what they are set to tell you at a specific time. Right, now let's move a little bit on towards this. So this is a stack of course that I've made myself around family assessments. So on the back, at the back of the card, there is specific questions. Who is the most fun to play with? Who hits the hardest? Um, who gets the maddest? Uh, who steals the most? If there's someone that's stealing, who has the most trouble talking? Uh, who has bad dreams? So normally what we do is after we've asked the child to um, make the family drawing, I would um, ask the child, to um, assign the card to the applicable family member that does that specific thing. And you can also, again, see there's a whole stack of cards and I won't necessarily um, do all of them, uh, but I will do the ones that I feel is applicable. Um, if we move here, I have two sets of Jenga. First, this is the Truth or Dare Jenga.